guys thanks for joining us for today's video today is a bit of a shortened version of last week's facebook live that i did over on my facebook page so we just decorated some biscuits or cookies cookies i think in few in the us biscuits are pretty much the same thing it's just what we call them over here in the uk i cheated and bought some rich tea biscuits because i didn't have time to make any and i'm just going to cover them in some fondant so some white fondant and I've had a bit of a play around with whether I like the straight circle going on them or whether I want a more fluted edge. So do have a play around when you're doing yours, guys. So to stick them on with, I've just used some royal icing. So that's just on the biscuit itself. And then to attach pieces of fondant together, I'm just using water. Or you can use edible glue. Whichever one is going to work best for you is absolutely fine. So I've kind of just covered them in plain white try and get a cookie cutter that's the same size as the cookie that you're using and then I've cut out like a, a circle little border <laughs> and I've pressed in with a smaller cookie cutter an imprint for a circle you can just see it slightly then I've just did some pale blue edible food dust in the middle just with a dry brush and then I had a bit of a play around with hearts what size is I've got an assortment of different heart cookie cutters here or plunger cutters um so it's up to you what size you want to do. I'm using some modeling paste for my little figures. So I've got a round ball of gray. What I'm going to do, guys, is put links to everything below the video for what I've used in this video as well to try and help you if you wanted to use the same things. Obviously, you can use alternatives. So we've got a round ball for the head. Obviously, the bigger you go, the more icing there's going to be on this cookie. So try and go fairly small because there's a lot for the cookie. Um, it's a, a little ball for the body, but we kind of cut part of it off so it's slightly less rounded. I've poked two holes in for the eyes and I'm using these tiny little black sugar pearls so they are edible they're pretty hard but they're quite small and then we're going to dust with a black edible dust just around the edge now if you are in a bit of a rush and you don't want to spend as much time on your cookies you could do away with the black dust like you don't have to add it I just thought it was a nice extra little touch and then I've got some dark gray for the nose so again fondant or modeling paste is absolutely fine for this fondant's softer so it's nicer to eat than modeling paste modeling chocolate's probably going to taste even nicer because i had gray i've just darkened the nose a bit with the black pen as well guys and then we're going to roll some tiny little red bits for hearts so this is modeling paste that i've got again i've rolled a teardrop and then i've kind of pressed my dresden tool in the top of the teardrop so it kind of splits it slightly so it makes it a bit more heart shaped just because I don't have any heart shaped cutters as small as this, so I'm having to make them by hand, these tiny ones. And then the bigger ones, I've just actually used a cutter for. So same again. So try and keep hold of it by the kind of pointy bit of your teardrop shape. And then the bigger one is large enough that I'm going to add a bit of shading with the black edible dust. And we're going to place it on there. So it kind of partially overlaps over the face. And I'm going to turn this one into a rabbit. I guess depending on the shape of the ears you give it, is going to change what it looks like it kind of looks a bit like a seal without the ears so two kind of sausage like shapes slightly pointier on the ends than a sausage shape maybe so i'm just sticking them on with a bit of water again i'm adding a bit of dust and then we want another shape pretty much the same as the ears for the arm i'm going to stick it from the shoulder to the heart now i'm using an edible black pen to draw a bit of a circle so we've got like a bit of a frame around our rabbit and a bit around sort of the body parts as well again if you don't like this but you don't have to add it it's just an extra little bit i thought it just made it look a little bit nicer and when i've drawn the circle in the background guys that's the imprint that i put in at near the beginning of the video with the cookie cutter i just kind of pressed it in a little bit that was to give me a bit of a guide for drawing that circle i've used a pink pen to color in part of the ear and then i'm using a bit more of that pale blue dust to just go around the very edge of my cookie cutter. And if you want to add a bow or something to it, you can do. I'm going to cheat and just use a mold. If you're making a few of these, a mold might be a bit easier because it's just quicker than making the bows by hand. Usually I would make them by hand, but for speed, especially when I'm doing like the Facebook Lives, I want to try and do things quicker than I might do normally. Um, so we went for the mold. Or you could have like a skinny little bow like that one. And you just stick it on there. I was going to go red, but I didn't know if red might look a bit too much with the heart. So let's have a quick go at another style. This time I used the round cookie cutter, but I used the fluted edge. And then we cut out little holes with a piping nozzle just to create that kind of effect. 
So on this one, let's see, what should we put on? Let's put a, a little indentation with that circle again. We just cut out some little hearts. I've done a red bow again using my mold. And I've stuck the hearts kind of along that circle. You can see it better now I'm drawing in with the pen. And if you want to add polka dots or anything to it, you can do. So the polka dots on this bow match a cake that I made a little while ago. It was a, it was a display cake, so it's not a real cake. Um, but these cookies were to match that whole theme of the cake that I made a while back. Let's put a little bit of the blue dust in the middle. And then another thing you can do, so I'm trying to do a few cookies that kind of look nice together as a set. You can use like these emboss kits. They're kind of like, these are um, sweet stamp ones. And you just kind of roll your fondant into them and it puts in an impression. So it makes like a nice little border. There's a few different ones. You can't really see it very well on the white. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, so these are more sweet stamp stuffs now, but these are like the individual letters. Again, guys, I'll put links below to what these are. And then if you do want to use the same ones, you can see which ones I've used. Um, they are also available in my shop as well. So you kind of press the letters in, it leaves an indentation. I realize it doesn't show very well on here because it's white. But then you can colour them into whatever colour afterwards. So this one I'm colouring at the moment doesn't have the word love in the middle. The one on the left does. And what I'm going to do is all the raised bits I'm actually colouring in. So where we press the imprint is left certain parts raised. You can paint them with food colouring but I found it easier just to draw on it with a pen. Just make sure it's not too soft when you do it. So my black edible pen again. If you want to outline the bow so it stands out a bit more, you can do. And it's fairly simple and quick those ones. So if you're doing a few, it's a bit easier. So let's do another one, this time with the little animals. I think maybe we'll do, instead of two bunnies, we'll maybe do one as a koala and one as a rabbit. So the same kind of thing again, but we're putting them next to each other. So two of them. So for the koala, let's do a ball that we press into the middle. And then that'll give us our little ear shapes. Oh, that one doesn't quite squeeze on there. The head's kind of in the way a bit. And guys, remember, you can spend much longer than I have done neatening this up. Our little eye holes again, and I'm using those black sugar pearls once again to press in the eyes. So let's give that one a pink nose this time. This one with a pink nose can be the rabbit, and the other one can be the koala. I haven't got any black fondant to hand, so I'm just going to put a grey nose on, but then I'm going to colour it in with that black pen. You can see the nose is moving around a little bit because the paste is still soft. And they can be hugging each other. So two little sausage shapes for the arms. And then we're going to do this one's ears just like we did the ears on the other one. And then some more little hearts. I'm making these ones by hand this time. And then let's draw that circle in. So that circle I pressed in earlier on. So let's go back to this one where we pressed the word love in. So the love is indented and you can then paint or colour it in. Or if you've got like really tiny sprinkles, you can fill the letters with the tiny sprinkles as well. Again, I've got the pens. I like using the edible pens, so I found them fairly easy to use on this. There we go. So we've got a few. Have a bit of a play around. I could maybe do with something in the middle of some of these, but, you know, if you like them plain, you can always write people's names in them as well. Some of them are quicker than others to do, but it's always nice to have some fancier. There we go. I made myself a biscuit. <laughs> no, not so fancy when it's for me. Um... I hope you've enjoyed the video, guys. Don't forget I've got lots of other Valentine's ones on the YouTube channel that you can watch. And don't forget to have a look at our actual Facebook Lives on Tuesday mornings at 10.30am UK time. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment below. You can see more of my tutorials by clicking on the images on screen now. If you haven't already, make sure you click the subscribe button to stay up to date with my future tutorials. There are also links in the description box below where you can find me on Facebook, Instagram and more.